Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. And we finally filled up our eight box fly ball baseball mixer, random team break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are giving away $150 of break credit in this break. So at the end of the break, there's all the boxes here. At the end of the break, I'll run a randomizer and the, uh, of all your names in the break. The top six names will win 25 bucks of break credit each. If you have more than one spot, yes, you can win more than one time. Also, as just a little bit of a bonus prize right here, uh, my badge from the Tops Industry Conference. I had my name sticker right here, but uh, they gave me a Buster Posey. I was just like, come on. Come on, guys. What's cool, though, is it's got a nice Tops lanyard for your keys. The kids will love it for their keys as well. All right, so there's that little extra bonus prize for somebody. We'll randomize all that at the end. What we're going to randomize right now are your names and the teams. So let's see what you get matched up with. Good luck, everybody. Uh, we're going to randomize each list eight times. It will be a different dice roll at the very end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We've got Joseph G down to Coop. And six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go. After eight times, we've got the Red Sox on top and the Oakland A's on the bottom. All right, so here's how it shakes out, everybody. Good luck. Joseph G, you got the Boston Red Sox. Patrick Edwards with the Brew Crew, Mark Glassman, Marlins, Mike Coons, Astros, Brett with the Giants, Rob with the Nationals, Jeremy with the Rangers, uh, Brian Evans with the Diamondbacks, Coop with the Cardinals, Tyrone with the Royals, Michael with the Mariners, Greg with the Twins, Jeremy with the Cubs, Ed Ramos, you got the Rockies, Mary Lou, White Sox, Charles, you got my Dodgers, nice, Lee, Yankees, and Reds, it's pretty solid, Juan with the Phillies, Coop with the Mets, Greg with the, uh, I almost said Patriots, Pirates, TJ, Angels, Michael Gallucci, Blue Jays. I've got football on the brain. William with your last spot, Mojo, Indians. Mark Glassman, Tigers. John Goss, you got the Rays. James S. with the Braves. Clyde the Glide with the Padres. John, you also have the Orioles. And Coop with the Oakland A's. Trades are allowed. Yeah, you know, Lee was like, I thought I had Dodgers Yankees for a second. No, yeah, Yankees Reds is pretty solid too, especially with these boxes. Now, feel free to trade, but keep in mind, you've got uh, 2016 right here, high tech baseball. We've got 2016 Topps Chrome baseball. We've got old 2012 Elite Extra. I, Lee, who's in? Does anyone remember offhand who's in this? I'm sure some good names. 2016 Bowman Draft, 2016 Bowman Baseball right back there. We got a couple Heritages too. We got 2017 High Number and 2018 Heritage, Otani Hunting. There you go. So feel free to trade. I know there's a lot of different years and stuff involved, so I'll give everyone a second to think about whether they want to make a trade or not. All right. Yeah, the Heritage High number is in there, too. The Yankees always have some good players anyway. Uh, I know Coop placed an order recently, Lee, but I have not seen him in the chat tonight. Okay, so 2012 Elite Extra Edition. Boston Grass is letting me know. Uh, Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Cespedes, Yu Darvish. All in 2012. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 
Uh, 16 Bowman draft is in here. Lee. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. All right, good luck, everyone. Um, I'm going to probably close out with high tech. I guess we'll start in the, in the past first, 2012. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses, Tuesday the 20th. Good luck, everybody. I know a little on the quiet side today. NT football is tomorrow. Oh, I still have that St. Patrick's Day clover. It's not St. Patrick's Day anymore. There you go, gone. Had to go away. We'll wait for the next holiday to post another logo up there. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Now, in this set, sometimes there's international players and uh, Team USA cards in here. We will randomize those as one lot to someone at the end of the break. So below that top lanyard spot. All right. And William, William needs them Lendors. Are we in the golden age of shortstops? Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Francisco Lindor. Manny Machado moved back to to shortstop. I'm sure there are others. <laughs> but we are in a kind of a golden age of uh, of shortstops. Especially like Seager, Lindor, and Correa, who are all pretty much the same ages or at least the same number of years around there. Oh, nice. Uh, who who did you get, William? For fantasy, yeah. How how is everyone's fantasy drafts going? Mine is this Sunday. This Sunday auction draft, sixteen teams, keepers, pretty intense stuff. Standardish categories, nothing too, nothing too crazy. We like to keep it simple. Oh, Trey Turner, right. He's, oh, right. Are they not putting him in the outfield this year? I guess not. All right, good luck with this box, folks. Should be a lot of good stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got a Barrios here. Did he go by J.O. back in 2012? Uh, Josh Elander, die cut. For the Bravos, seven out of one hundred. That'll go to James and the Braves. We've got Logan Taylor to seven twelve, one seventy out of seven twelve. That is for the New York Baseball Club. Sometimes you could, no, sometimes sometimes you can tell <laughs> where that's supposed to go, but Logan Taylor should be a New York Met. He's in the Mets organization. Do I have, no, of course not. Post-it notes.
Oh, so Trey Turner's still eligible. All right, he's still eligible to shortstop. All right, Metropolitans with that one. That'll go out to Coop. Michael Walker, he might have a good season. We've got yearbook, David Dahl. And Kevin Ploiecki. Autograph Prospects Red Ink, another Metropolitan. Now, Coop expired, of course, but you can always, they always give you something. We got a die cut right here out of 200, Chris Stratton. And we've got Ty Black for the Giants out of 100. Mitch Hanniger for the, no, sorry, I was going to say Mariners. This is Brewer's edition of Mitch Hanniger. And there's Logan Vick, 596 out of 776, going to the Tribe. William on the board. Are Correa autos in this? I always, all those years blur together. I mean, Michael Early out of 772. For the Chicago Baseball Club. Huh. Michael Early. Chicago White Sox. And that will go to Mary Lou with the White Sox. There's Barrett Barnes at a 621 for Pittsburgh. That'll be for Greg. Swat's asking when you reserve your spot online for the Resident GS South to send the That I don't know, actually. Does anyone else have an answer for... Uh for SWAT brat in there about the redemptions. Tyler Naquin, Diamond Kings insert. And we've got Royce Bollinger, 326 out of 697 for the Rangers. That'll go to Jeremy Merle and the Rangers. And Courtney Hawkins out of 499. I will assume that he is, he looks like he would be a White Sox. He is. Sometimes they, they match the uniforms to the team. just helps the shipping team get these out faster to you. Oh, Alex Wood. There's my boy Alex Wood. 31 out of 50. That's still Braves edition of Alex Wood. James S., old Braves GM, admitting that he regrets uh, trading Alex Wood. I'm glad we have him. I would like it if he made 31 starts this season. That would be nice. That would be a good. That means he's having a good season. Uh, for the under 18s, this guy, John Kill Kilajowski, Kilajowski, John Kr Mike Krzyzewski. So that'll be part of a randomizer. 164 out of 299.
So that'll be the Team USA lot at the end of this break. And the last bits here, we've got Devin Marrero for the Red Sox, die cut autograph for Joseph G and the Red Sox. A dual auto, building blocks, dual autograph. Steve Okert and Damien Magnifico. Oh man, I hope Damien makes it to the majors. That'll also be a randomizer between the Giants and the Brew Crew. 12 out of 49. Nice. Jake Thompson, yearbook. And that's that. Box one of the books. Let's uh, let's go into some draft. 2016 Bowman draft. <laughs> Big Rig says, oh, the randomizer will go to the Brewers? Oh, because you have the Giants. Well, you also have Oppo Joe Mojo, though. That's a real thing. You know, that is a, that is a real thing. But no, you gotta have a positive attitude, Big Rig. You gotta be like, no, I'm gonna win that randomizer. You have to, you have to visualize yourself winning that randomizer. Just like when you're, if you're a golfer, if you're like when you're working on your golf swing, you know, visualize that. If you're a batter, pitcher, visualize all of that. If you're a diver, you're a swimmer, a racer, visualize. Visualize winning. A winning attitude is the first step to being a winner. Um, are we gonna be doing some GQ this week? I declined my photo shoot with Gen Gentleman's Quarterly as, uh, as top, top 10 sexiest breakers. I said no. Uh, but we'll also be having some Gypsy Queen too, by the way. I think we only got one case though. All right, I think it says in the item description, we're, uh, oh, thanks, Lee. Top five, even? All right, 2016 Bowman Draft, and then we'll do 2016 Bowman Baseball. Oh, reverse icon. You can't use reverse psychology. Use winning psychology, Brett. Did Michael Jordan use reverse psychology? Probably not. Kobe Bryant, Phil Jackson, you know. Sir Alex Ferguson of Manchester United? No. I want winners. I want people that want to win. One of my favorite quotes of all time. I'm assuming paper base doesn't ship in this. Stuff like this will ship. <laughs> That's the thing. Thanks, William. That's the whole intent. That's the whole intent. If you have to look at this mug eight hours a day, I better look somewhat presentable. All right, good luck, folks. DJ Peters actually had a decent spring for the Dodgers. I don't think he's going to make the club, but this is all paper. Paper, 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 paper. And uh, Brett Attic. Purple. That'll go to the Strohs, Mike Koontz. 
214 out of 250. Chase de Young. Breeze through that paper. Ian Happ has had a nice spring too. And Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. We'll go to Rob Marsh and the Nationals. Dane Dunning. Dane Dunning. <laughs> we're not Dunning. We're just beginning. Biggio's kid. Right? How many, how many Biggio's are there in baseball? Jack Flaherty. Is he starting this year? In the, is he in the rotation this year? I think so. Maybe borderline. Or paper. Joe Rizzo, Anthony's brother. Seattle Mariners, that goes to Michael Necht. 367 at 499. Yeah, no, it doesn't say. He's probably not. But there's Joe Rizzo. Uh, for, uh, yeah, that's right, Michael and the Mariners. There's Zach Collins. Lee's looking for this guy right here, Taylor Trammell. This will ship. Not numbered, though. There's Brent Honeywell. Out of 499. Ray's going with a uh, four man rotation, kind of. It's not like they're just, they're only going four starters. On the fifth day, it'll be a bullpen hybrid. So everyone kind of freaked out. They're like, oh, four-man rotation, crazy. Not that crazy. There's old Nolan. Look how young Nolan Ryan looks there. There's Brent Honeywell again. It'll be interesting to see how that rotation works. 128 out of 150. And we've got Eric Lauer. That seems different, right? Seemed like it was gold. Seemed like it was numbered. No, it's not. Fooled. Will Smith, one of the Dodgers catching prospects. And Corey Ray, nice Corey Ray for the Brew Crew. Patrick Edwards with the Brewers. Brewing it. Strange Brew. Fifth overall pick back in 2016. Braden Webb, not to be confused with Brandon Webb. You guys remember Brandon Webb? on the Diamondbacks for a little bit, I think. Dude was supposed to be like, uh, he had like a, a couple stud years and then probably injuries actually. Look how young Glavin looks there. There, yeah, what Lee remembers, Pepperidge Farm remembers, and Lee. Right, wasn't, wasn't he like lights out for like two or three years? And then just kind of tailed off. Chi Wee Hu as well. Two out of 90. Yeah, and Williams saying injuries. So I thought. Green Chrome for the Rays. Uh, John Goss with that one. Isn't this guy supposed to, isn't this kid supposed to be a stud? Like from Taiwan or, yeah. But I think he kind of, I don't know. He's kind of tailed off a little bit in terms of progression, I feel like. 
but still supposed to be good. Looks like that's it for that. There you go. Nice box. Moving on to 2016 Bowman Baseball. Looking for three autos per box. Good luck, everybody. A solid break thus far. Thanks for filling this one up, folks. Chance to win some break credit, too. At the very end, I'll randomize everybody's names for the for the break credit. And I'll, uh, I'll actually, kind of a quiet night, I'll send it right away to the winners. So you can invest that into, uh, right back into NT. Some NT football tomorrow, if you're interested in the football. The Rays uh, four-man rotation is interesting, ladies and gentlemen, because in, a, in an age where, where, where the teams are so quick to go to their bullpens, their specialized bullpens, and maybe you take advantage of like the 10-day DL and whatnot, I think the Rays strategy, slightly different, the Rays strategy is to really have the top two, Chris Archer and Blake Snell, really do a lot of work. Go deep into games, pitch a lot of starts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They'll kind of, uh, and they'll shorten up the starts of the three and four pitcher and then use like a, a bullpen hybrid for the fifth day if they need it. So that's the interesting thing that I'm doing, which means in an age where pitchers like Zach Granke is going to start the season injured, these guys aren't going to be logging in 32 starts, 30, 35 starts a season anymore, but fantasy for fantasy purposes, something to think about. But guys like Chris Archer, if healthy, should be fully expected to log in like 33 to 35 starts and over 200 innings. So just FYI, think about that. Take that for data. The Guerreros. 140 out of 150, that's awesome. They should do more cards like this. That is a randomizer between the Nationals and the Blue Jays. You got a Hall of Famer and then the somewhat consensus number one overall prospect in baseball. Is he the consensus number one? Baseball America, MLB, everyone have them at number one? Fan graphs? I think so. Probably pretty close. There's Yohan Mankata, Red Sox edition. And purple paper, Craig Kimbrell. <laughs> so, William saying, so Tommy John for Archer and Snell with all those starts. I don't think so. Back in the day, you know, it wasn't too long ago where there were many pitchers who regularly pitched 30-some-odd starts, 200 innings, you know, and didn't destroy their, their elbows. Oh, is, a, is Acuna? Well, okay, yeah, I guess Acuna is up there. I don't know if he's on those lists, though, is he? I thought, I thought they considered him, like, pretty much a major leaguer. I guess he's going to be in the minors for like half a second. Sal Romano, 137 out of 250 for the Reds. That'll go to Lee. So let's let's talk about that for a second. Who – now, Otani obviously is the big name in the hobby. I think Acuna will be the other big name in the hobby. What are some other – what does everyone think? What are some other kind of, kind of sleeper picks – for, for making it big in the hobby. For player, rookies that are going to play this year. Rookie cards that we're going to chase in these sets. It 
It'll most likely be a hitter. But what hitter will it be after Acuna? Because la last year, obviously, it was Aaron Judge and Cody Bellinger. Aaron Judge, mostly, but driving the hobby. Driving the bait. That's what everyone was looking for. But Aaron Judge was kind of a surprise, wasn't he? Nobody expected him to do that. Last The offseason after Aaron Judge's first like month in the season, where he was batting like, I don't know, 145 or something, <laughs> whatever it was. Everyone, there were the Yankees fans who were like, trade him. He's no good. He's a bust. You know, get rid of him. Samuel Coonrod for the Giants. That'll go to Brett. But Aaron Judge started crushing and the rest is history. Who will be that guy this year? Again, besides Otani, I think whether Otani plays or not, I feel like he'll still carry strong value throughout the season. I think everyone's all in on Acuna. I think once he starts playing some national games, I think everyone's going to be like, yep, he's going to get a lot of national attention. But who's next after that? Jose De Leon, Tommy John, part of the Rays rotation. Maybe, maybe Archer and Snell will get... J.D. Martinez, I thought that was going to be numbered. And Drew Jackson. Drew Jackson for the Mariners, Michael. Ozzy Alves. It's hard to say. It's all, I mean, obviously, if we, you know, if we knew... What the big hits were gonna, or what the big uh, hitting rookies were gonna be? We'd all be investing in that before everybody else. Stock market. Francisco Mejia, there's one. William, is he gonna? Is he gonna get into? I think they're. I think they're trying to get him into the. Onto the twenty-five man roster, one way or the other. They're trying. They're trying him out at like outfield. Some third base, I think, even. They're, they're trying to work him in there. Certainly a bigger bat than Jan Gomes, among others. There's Aaron Judge. Ryan McMahon, and then David Denson. Ryan McMahon, purple parallel. Ah, Reese Hoskins. All right, there's a good one. If Reese Hoskins can pick up 98 out of 2. You know what? If Reese Hoskins, like let's say he goes bananas, right? If Reese Hoskins starts the season strong... Like hits ten home runs in April or something like that. Forty two out of four ninety nine. See, I think that would be that's for the Brewers as well, Patrick Edwards. I think that would be a good. I think that would be a good thing for the hobby because there were pretty, basically zero Reese Hoskinses last year because he really came out of the blue. You know, just really out of nowhere. So Reese Hoskins will be found more often in products. And if he if he hits if he hits those dingers at the rate at which he was last summer for a good chunk of time, that could be that could be it right there. Phillies fans, fans in Philly are obviously high about their Eagles Super Bowl, right? And they've got to be pretty encouraged about about, you know, maybe they're looking towards baseball and they're seeing the next championship building right before their eyes. So that Reese Hoskins could be could be pretty huge. De Raphael Devers. Right. The market, it's true. The market definitely affects things. It's a pretty cool card. You know, it's a big market. New York, Boston, Los Angeles, Chicago. That'll help. Uh, we might as well stay in 2016. But we'll do these two last. We'll do high-tech last just because they're a little more fun then we'll do uh heritage heritage tech we're almost done folks all right
That's true. Yeah, Hoskins could do what Judge did last year and not and not sell nearly as well because of the market. This is true. Unfortunately, I don't know if the Dodgers are going to be of any help. I don't think I don't think Verdugo is going to be the power type. I don't know, pitch, and pitchers just don't do as well, right? Now, Walker Buehler is going to come up, get called up at some point this year, but he'll he'll be on a limits innings restriction, so kind of hard for a pitcher to generate that kind of uh, buzz unless you unless you're like Fernando in his rookie year, just rattling off shutouts, complete game shutouts. They don't let guys do that anymore. What what were like Fernando's pitch counts? Oh, we have to actually look. We have to look this up. His rookie year, folks. Fernando's rookie year in uh, or 1981, I think, was his first full season. His first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. His first eight starts went eight and zero, and threw one, two, three, four, five shutouts. Five shutouts, one complete game. Pitch counts. I need pitch counts. They're not going to do. No one does that anymore, right? <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Fernando Valenzuela, pitch counts. Sorry, I'm just curious about this now. No, it doesn't happen in the box score? I guess not. Well, it just wouldn't happen this season, folks. It's just not going to happen. All right. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Boombox saying, since Joe pulled me two of the worst teams in this mix, what did I give you? Marlins. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and who else? Oh, Tigers. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, it's not my fault. I blame Random.org. Jose Barrios. Twins. That'll go to Greg with the Twinkies. He could have a nice season this year. But Mark's saying, whenever whenever you get bad randomizers, folks, it's never my fault. But if you get a good randomizer, I'll take credit for it. Uh, Mark's saying, blah, blah, blah. He decided to look through his heritage for short prints. Found an out of 10 Cody Ballinger short print. Nice. Max Kepler, another twin. Showing, uh, got some good power there too. A nice magenta bag. Yeah, I realized when we were doing those personal boxes, I, w I really didn't look, pay attention to the uh, magenta backs. So I would encourage everyone who got personal box from us, I'm sure you did, but to look at the backs of those. This staff is healthy. Could be dangerous. There's Joey Rykard for the O's. That goes to John Goss and the Orioles. Nice one for the Orioles.
Anyone want Trace Thompson? Purple, Rob Refsnyder for Lee and the Yankees. One seventy eight out of two fifty. Twenty three, Jordan out of one fifty, Felix Hernandez making his way back from injury. Anyone taking a chance on uh on Felix Hernandez? In fantasy baseball? Yeah, I was, I was actually hoping for a Severino. I think Luis Severino is going to have a great season. And we got another one for Lee. Robert Stevenson. Huh? This, this one's better. Lee. This one's better than the Rob Ref Snyder. Avoid King Felix, says, says Lee, but... Yeah, I mean, if Willie, Willie got him in the 18th round, I mean, if you got him in the 18th round, maybe if you get like a, if you're in an auction league, you get him for like, what, a few bucks or something like that? Isn't that worth, isn't King Felix worth a flyer? Heritage High Number Time. How long, it hasn't been too long since he was winning like 18, 19 games and 250 strikeouts and whatnot. All right, so speaking of that heritage, folks, always be sure to look at the checklist, check the short prints, check all the codes on the back, check the backs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, just so you don't miss any hits. So this is 17 at Tops Heritage. High a number. In fact, I'm going to write a note. Lee looking for an Aaron Judge in this high number. That would be pretty nice. I've heard of that guy. That guy's pretty good. Uh, what does everyone think? Aaron Judge. Does he do it again? Does he improve? What were his numbers last year? Everyone knows about the home runs, but... So, in his Rookie of the Year campaign, hit 284, end of the season, 284, 52 home runs, 114 RBIs. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty good. Regression? William's saying regression. Yeah, there's no way he hits 50 home runs again. But what does he hit, though? How bad is the regression? 280? 270? 270? 43 home runs? 115 RBI? Something like that? Oh, you like, I like Bellinger a lot this season, too. If you're going to compare the Rookie of the Years. Yeah, his, his swing is a little long. Uh, everyone, all, all the Dodgers reporting seems, seems to suggest that, that he has worked, on, uh, worked harder on, uh, on that swing. Like he, he's, he makes adjustments very well. I think Bellinger exited the game early today, right? After fouling a ball off the foot. I don't know if it's super serious, though. Wow, Silver Stacker saying, you bet 60-plus home runs this year. All right, so we'll breeze through these. There's Shinsu Chu. There you go, out of 999, top left corner. That'll go to the Rangers. That'll be for Jeremy Merle with the Korean slugger. Let's 
60 plus home runs. Silver, Rob, what do you th what do you think? Uh, what do you think Giancarlo Stanton hits? How many home runs for him? Swat says 60 for Judge as well. There's Jake Arietta, Clubhouse Collection Relic. That will be for Jeremy Merle and the Cubbies. So Will William is suggesting no more than 35 or 40 home runs. Lee is suggesting 38, 42, something like that. And for Giancarlo Stanton, he would hit more than Judge and would push 50 easier than Judge. Yeah, I think it's just the one, Lee. Unless they give us a bonus. Trying to see if there's any short prints or anything. How about Jesse Winker, though, Lee? It's not bad. I think Jesse Winker's going to have a nice season. I got a question for you guys. Speaking, you know, continue on the Judge and Giancarlo Stanton train. There it is. 40 out of 568. Um... Who has more, Miami Marlins losses or combined home runs for Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge? Who has more? Although some people are saying Coyle said Eric Coyle says Stan and Judge will have more home runs than Miami Marlins losses. I actually think Miami's gonna have a I think they might surprise some people. Silver Sagger says says Miami will definitely have more losses than, than Stan and Judge Homers. Yeah, my Marlins may lose like 90 games, right? If it's 90 games, it's 45 homers apiece. Hundred, hundred wins. That's that's a, that's a little bit harder to say. If Miami Marlins ended up with a hundred wins, if those two would get more than a hundred. Is this, this dick right here, Dick Hall. That'll go to the Phillies. That's what I'm thinking too, Brian Evans. It's kind of a funny question. It's a kind of a sort of a tongue-in-cheek, throwing shade sort of question. But, yeah, I think home runs too because I think the Marlins will find a way to lose less than 100 games. I think so too. Which means, are we taking the... Are we taking the over on win totals for the Marlins, which is like at 63 as of a few weeks ago, last time I checked? I think going all the over could be interesting. I mean, sure, the Nationals are going to be good, but they're always going to be good, right? They've always been good. So maybe... 
Phillies are still going to lose a lot of games. Miami will see Philly, Phil, Philadelphia a lot. You know. I do too. Eric saying that I, I think the Marlins could have gotten a lot more from their trades. I agree. I think they got a couple good good returns for like Yelich. You know, but I expected more of a Yelich type return or better for Stanton. For uh, well, not for Stan, but for uh, Ozuna, D. Gordon. So who's got the Angels in this one? Ooh, TJ. Good luck, TJ. You know what we're hunting for here, and it's not CJ Crone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, opening day is on the, what, 29th? Thursday, opening MLB opening day. The first time in ages where all the teams open the season all at once. Obviously, we'll be breaking on Thursday the 29th. I hope everyone, everyone just take a day off. That's what I say. Plan ahead. I say take a day off. Not this Thursday, but the next Thursday. Take a day off, hang out with Jaspies. Let's bust open some cases. Let's watch some baseball. What do you say? Take the day off. You deserve it. You deserve it. Should be a national holiday anyway. All right, good luck everyone. Muppet Mania. This will go into a different category. Facsimile autographs. Probably the one year where more people are looking for another guy other than Mike Trout. Sorry, Mike Trout. 2017 Angels belong, or 2018 Angels belong to Shohei Otani. There's Aaron Judge. That is a uh, action variation. Lee. There you go. Nice. I don't know what these go for, but I'm sure more than I think. I don't know what Cody Bellinger is doing there. Is he shading the... Not sure what he's doing there. What is he doing? Is, oh, is he sticking his arm out to catch a baseball? I'm not sure. We got Edwin and Carnacion for the tribe. That'll go to William. William Fonar has the last spot mojo out of 569 on that one. And Jose Altuve, piece of his bat right there. Got a decent payday. That'll go to the Strohs, of course. Mike Koontz with the Astros.
Andrew Heaney is not Shohei Otani. Lee, did you ever hear back from Tyrone about that that Thor nickname card that we pulled a little while ago? There's Caleb Joseph with the 100th anniversary stamp on it. That's also for the Orioles. Oh, you did. Okay, good. You guys connected. Excellent. Well, good luck. Martin Maldonado, not Shoei Otani. Well, sorry about that, TJ. Got some nice stuff out of there. All right. Two boxes to go. What, the stand on the Yanks? Oh, is it? I don't think so. It still has 65 on the bottom of it. it still says 65 on the bottom. I don't, I don't think it is. I think the traded ones have different serial numbers on the back. Oh, the Marlins one. No, no worries. You gotta look because I, you know, it, it it could be, could be that the traded ones are kind of difficult to, difficult to spot. You know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen the throwback uniform one yet. I think those are pretty hard to find, but I haven't seen one of those yet. All right, last couple boxes. Good luck, everybody. Oh, forgot about this. Kershaw dominates L.A. Duel. Dodgers, Ace, Shackles, Angels. All right. There it is on this side. Brian Dozier. Your ERA leaders and the Blue Jays. Box topper. We'll have to randomize between all of those. So that'll be, that'll be fun. All right. We've got Matt Kemp, who's going to be starting in left field. There's Luis Severino for you. Rookie Luis Severino for Lee. This is, I think, this is this is the shortest of prints for Tommy Glavin, uh, James, with the Braves, and we've got old Royals edition of Johnny Damon. Royals on the board. That's Tyrone, actually. There you are, Tyrone. I didn't realize you were in this one. Lee says hi. All right, so that goes Tyrone and the uh, Kansas City Royals. There's Chris Bryant and Beyond the Park. I see some orange in there. There's Carlos Rodon for the White Sox. That'll be for Mary Lou. It's a different diffractor, different shorter print, different variation. This is a short print. Ichiro, Marlins edition. That'll go to Mark Glassman. There you go, Mark. Boom. All right, thanks for joining the break, Mark. All right. How about Orange Hall of Famer Craig Biggio? 18 out of 25. Houston Astros, Mike Koontz. With the Orange Liquid Hot Magma. Magma. Liquid hot magma. See? Hot. Nice auto there. Nice way to close things out. There's Cal Rupin Jr. There's UN Cespedes. All right. There's your break, folks. Got a couple randomizers to do. Randomizer, randomizer, randomizer.
plus those other random cards from from Heritage 18, like the Muppet card, the On the Moon card. That'll go along with this one right here. These will be separate. Uh, we have a play-in game, folks. We have a play-in game, just like the NCAA tournament. We got to see who plays in for the middle card. All right, so let's go to random.org. Where are you, random? There you are. Two, three, four, five. All right, here's the play in game. This is for the center card. Although the Nationals do have the odds. Then we'll go left, right, and center for the box topper. We've got uh, the Vladimir Guerrero and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That was Expos Nationals Blue Jays. Then we got the dual auto that was between San Francisco Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. And then that's it. And then everybody gets a shot. And all that break credit from Brian all the way down to Rob. All right, so let's roll the dice for all the lists. Good luck, everybody. We're going to do it four and a six, ten times. The play-in game first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. The Nationals had the odds. So for the play-in game, the Nationals, you're in on the center card right here. That's Rob Marsh. <coughs> All right. Excuse me. After 10 times, 4 to 6, that box topper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10th and final time. Stays with the center. So that goes to you, Rob. Rob with the box topper. All right, next up is the uh, Expos Nationals card featuring father and son, 140 to 150. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Flips to the Blue Jays. That goes to Michael Gallucci. There you go, Steel Curtain. Let's get that dual auto taken care of. Four to six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Goes to the Giants. That This means that Big Rig was visualizing a big moment for him. That goes to the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo as well for Brett. There you go, Brett. Dual auto coming your way. Twelve out of 49. Last but not least are the rest. The names get randomized. One through six will get 25 bucks of break credit each. Break, uh, spot number seven gets this little extra bonus. My Topps Industry Conference lanyard with Buster Posey on it. Gross. And the Topps lanyard, I actually like Buster Posey. If there's a giant I had to like, it'd be Buster Posey. And then the eighth spot will get the Team USA autograph, uh, plus a few of those other random cards from Heritage. All right, so four and a six, 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. The names on top: ten, nine, eight, seven, eight. Sorry, Michael Gallucci. You get the Team USA autograph plus the other stuff. Seven, Lee. You get uh, the Topps badge and lanyard. I don't know if you like you like you like Buster Posey, right? You get the tops lanyard too. You can put on your put on your keys, right there. Then break credit twenty five bucks, twenty five bucks for John, twenty five bucks for Rob, twenty five bucks for Coop, twenty five bucks for Greg, twenty five bucks for Mark, and twenty five bucks for Mary Lou. Yeah, you just missed out on the break credit, Lee. But don't worry, Lee, because this is uh, is game worn, conference worn badge, worn by this guy. Surely that's at least $25 in your heart. 
Thanks very much, everybody. That was your 8-box fly ball baseball mixer from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Really appreciate it. Um, as we get March closer and closer to the baseball season, there's more baseball releases and a lot of baseball product that we'll have, so keep checking back. Get ready for baseball. It's back, folks. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.